taking the challenge of guarding the person across from him. Um, I think we did a good job of just being intense the whole game and really dialing in on defense for 40 minutes and not 20 or 15 or anything like that. We was able to put a full performance together. Coach Mack was saying that you guys really emphasized keeping Simpson out of the lane, and there were times when he did drive and he was looking to pass, obviously, but he didn't really have anywhere to go. When you're guarding him, how are you communicating if you need your guy to come help side? Yeah, um, one, I know it's a team thing. I got hope on the back side where I'm able to pressure him, but when he picked the ball up, I just tried to be aggressive, have five hands, um, not give him too many opportunities, just look over top and make whatever passes he want. Uh, he's good at dissecting the defense. I feel like we did a good job today of limiting that role from him. Jordan, third year here now. What do you think of the crowd atmosphere and the intensity there for Uh, You know, it was really good. Uh, you know, it was crazy, you know, seeing all those people out there, you know, cheering us on, you know, really helped us out. Uh, you know, having crowds like that uh, really helps us get wins. So if we can have like that all the time, it would be great. Jordan, what did you see from their defense in the second half? It seemed like you turned a corner a few times, got to the basket. Uh. I just saw they were playing with their five men. I was able to attack him, uh, use my speed a little bit on him, uh, and you know convert convert a few lives. Jordan, you seemed pretty excited there at the end. Uh, was that just hitting shots? Were you feeding off the crowd energy? What was? Uh, how were you feeling out there? You know, I was just, I was feeling good. You know, we had heard they wanted some smoke <laughs> yesterday, so you know they got some smoke and they got smoked. So yes, sir. You no, know, I mean it's what happens. So you know. They were talking, we were able to, you know, quiet it up a little bit. Uh, and now we just got to focus on the next game. Coach Mack mentioned in here that you guys might have heard people questioning the toughness of your schedule. I know you lost eight of your last ten last year. How much was that really uh, something you guys talked about before the game? Uh, we talked about it a little, but the thing is, is last year's team is last year's team. Uh, you know, we have a whole new team now. Uh, it's going to be different. You know, what happened last year is what happened last year. It's a whole new year, whole new schedule, a uh, whole new team, and uh, a lot more experience. Um, so, you know, we're just going to stay locked in and focus on this year. No just worrying about what happened last year because there's nothing we can do now. Uh, we just got to, you know, look forward. You were number one in the country as of yesterday. Do you feel like today put an exclamation point on them? Um, our season not over yet. Uh, number one is just a number. Uh, we got a bigger goal than that. We got ACC, we got a national championship. So number one is just a number. We, we're going to continue to get better, and we're going to get ready for Pittsburgh Friday. The uh, the smoke comment earlier, you're talking about Michigan's players? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, there was a few a few of their players, I guess, that said something about it. You know, it's all fun and games. Uh, you know, we, we played. Uh, you know, it's good to see. You know, none of us are going to talk about anything before the game. And we're just going to settle it on the court, and you know, that's what we did. They said they wanted some smoke, so, you know, we went out there and gave it to them. <laughs> Where did they say? Tonight, uh, had a lot, highlighted a lot of tradition, including the unveiling of the banner. Did that provide any extra motivation for you all as players? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, seeing those guys before us, um, being able to get appreciated for the, the job they did here to get us to the point that we're at today, uh, it's always great to see. So that definitely added some fuel to the fire in terms of us really want to go out there and just play full full forty and go ahead and get the job done for not only us but you know everybody that's a part of this whole community. Just for one last time, where did you hear the smoke comments? Uh, you know, all, our whole team has Twitter. You know, they had their their little press conference before the game. And I guess they had made a few of those comments, and obviously people are tweeting it, you know, sending it to us. Like I said, we're not going to talk about it. You know, we're just going to take it all in and, uh, you know, show what we got to show on the court. For both of you guys, they started to, to come back a little bit in the, in the second half, cut it to six at one point. Was there a, a turning point where you guys felt like, okay, now we have this, this big lead for good? Because in previous games this season, you know, it hasn't always stayed that way in the last seven, eight minutes. It's just been key for us to finish. Uh, I know Coach Mack has preached that from day one, finishing. And um, we don't want to ever let our foot off the gas. We want to keep it on the pedal and keep going 100 miles per hour. So I feel like we did a good job of doing that, um, not letting them feel like they had any chance to make a comeback or any little um, spot of light to do what they need to do and make shots. And uh, we were able to keep doing that and finish the game all strong that way. Pause just for a moment. Let's Stephen have a seat. Stephen, you know. 
take a couple more for the other two first, and then we'll let them get out of here before we talk to Steve. Uh, Jordan, how much do you feel like you've improved your game in terms of playing through contact, finishing around the basket, and also rebound? Uh, no, I feel like I've gotten you know a lot better. You know, I think playing internationally this summer really helped. You know, with that, you know, playing with those guys, being able to play the pros helped a lot. You know, just practicing every day with these guys. You know, our team is is, is good. You know, I'm going against a guy like you know Dwayne Sun every day, guarding me in practice. I got Sam, McDonald's All American, guarding me in practice every day. And those people are just gonna get me better. Uh, and not only that, uh, you know, great coaches pushing me every day too. So. You know, with all that, you know, around me, you know, there's, there's no reason not to get better. So, Fresh, what was it like to see Coach Martelli again and talk to him? Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, you know, in between those lines, it was a war. He knows that on that side, uh, just like I do. But, you know, before and after, uh, we shared that love with each other. You know, I still love him dearly. He's my coach, one of my mentors. And, uh, you know, like, likewise, he felt the same way. And, We'll connect and end up talking for the whole rest of the season, having phone calls and things like that. That's just a relationship we have, but it was good to be on, you know, the opposite side getting the win today. But, you know, that's still my God's end. Jordan, for those of us who are fairly old over here, how would you define smoke? <laughs> 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 um, when somebody says uh, we want all the smoke, it's just basically they're ready for it, for anything. They're ready to take us on. Um, Michigan players were saying that they were ready to face us and whatever we had to bring, they were going to get past that and get the win. So that's basically what they were. They were talking into existence a win. And uh, we're not about that here. We're about getting on the floor and playing, and we showed that for 40 minutes. One more for these two. Um, Coach Max said that the story of this game was was defense, and you all didn't shoot the ball exceptionally well. Uh, how are you all able to, to stay so good on defense for the entire game? Uh, you know, if you can come to our practices, it's something we do every day. Uh, a big part of practice is, is defense, and you know the coach is arguing on you if you're not doing your job. You know, we kind of we all take pride in it. Uh, you know, I'll take pride in helping out our teammates. You know, there are going to be times, you know, a teammate gets beat, and we got to be there to help each other out. And then just taking pride on and guarding the ball, you know, on-ball defense. You know, everybody's improving in that every day. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's really been a big focus for us, uh, be, uh, being strong on D, you know, staying on our feet, blocking out, finishing plays. Uh, and that's that helped us a lot today. Great. Let you guys get out of here, and then we'll take questions from Steve. Thank you. Big trucks. <laughs> Steve, what did you think was the common denominator in your ability to play defense on Teske today? Um, forcing his catches out. You know, uh, sometimes you're not going to be able to fully front the post like we do on defense in our system. So um, making him force the ball, forcing him to catch the ball further out and then digging in on him from our guards. We did a really good job of that uh, down the stretch of the game. Offensively, it looked like you were setting higher ball screens in the second half, trying to draw Teske up. What kind of impact does moving him out of the lane have on your offense? Well, we get good driving lanes, and good driving lanes, they equate to kickouts and open threes. I know we didn't do as good uh, as we usually do from beyond the arc, but you know, we still got those looks. You know, we, Defensively, at, at the beginning, they they were they prided themselves coming in on passing the ball, sharing the ball. You all made it a lot more difficult, particularly out on the perimeter. What was it that you saw about them that you really wanted to focus in and, and really limit their 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 lanes? One of their uh, emphasis, or one of our emphasis, coming into the game was making sure that the guards don't get downhill on a good angle enough to like get a kick out or get a roll pass. You know, they didn't get many of those this game. And then uh, another thing was watching like, you know, back screens and, and back doors and stuff. You know, we had to have our heads on the swivel and have each other's back if we did get caught up in things. Which Mac made reference to the players hearing the noise about the schedule and that you hadn't really played a team of this stature. What does tonight's game do for you? Do you feel it validates your ranking or, or the quality of the team? Like I said before, you know, the rankings don't really matter, especially this early on in the season. 
Um, I think we just did a really good job of being who we are, you know, uh, defensively. A lot of our shots weren't falling tonight, and that was evident, but, you know, we handled the, we handled the job on the defensive end pretty well for all four minutes. How does having a guy like Jordan out there make things easier, especially on offense? Uh, Jordan's really, really gifted, gifted player, and he, uh, he relieves a lot of us, you know, from having to make plays because he puts the ball in the rim. You know, he's probably the best in a long time that I've seen do that, so that's why I would thank him for him. On those couple three-pointers uh, that you took, were those plays designed to get you that shot, or was that just a read that you made? Um, it's twofold. Honestly, a lot of the game, Teske, uh, he stood in the lane on ball screens, and then whether or not we were running a play, that's what would have happened. Anything else for Stephen? Great, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.